same time cruising Providence airspace. Has something wondrous caught your eye? Well, if it isn't Duke Cayenne and the Azure Chevalier. Marvelous, isn't it, Rufus? Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it. All but in our grasp. I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such pleasures. But the war is, indeed, raging on, just as you say. And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. <laughs> so young, and yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had I a son like you, then I too would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Green though I may be, I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will as Supreme Commander of the Noble Alliance. <laughs> Please! I am Supreme Commander, yes, but I wouldn't permit merely anyone to take the position of Chief of Staff. Rest assured, you have earned my favor. We are both equally burdened to guide this conflict to a swift conclusion, all for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding? At present, 60% of the nation is under our control. But on the other hand, the Imperial Army still has a full 50% of its military might remaining. The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the East and West. <laughs> Excellent. Our Alliance forces have you, as well as the Panzer Soldats. We have General Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace, Two of the finest soldiers the provincial armies have ever seen. To say nothing of the Azure Diva and the countless other allies lending us their aid. Our victory is only a matter of time. Wouldn't you agree, Crow? <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent or anything. Ordeen isn't going to be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. They're not that mind-bogglingly powerful, sorry to say. <laughs> Come now, Crow. You're so modest. Well, no matter. We needn't concern ourselves with Crossbell for the present. Gilead Osborne has fallen. No longer will we be plagued by that detestable man and his foolish ideals. <sighs> However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. And this great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form. A land ruled by nobles. As you wish. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance may be required at some point. Give it some thought, won't you? Understood.
You don't think it'll be quite as easy as our friend the Duke does, do you? I can see it written all over your face. <laughs> Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. Then there's the fact we couldn't catch the Crimson Wings. Whatever other potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting cocky. <laughs> My brother is no less a son of the House of Alberea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster. And I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... Unforeseen circumstances are exactly the reason we carry only the finest insurance. Are they not, dear ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Feels kind of overkill having all of us on the same side. Still, this is how wars are fought. Eh, whatever. So long as we get to have our fun. <laughs> Just don't forget. We're not here for you. We won't be working together forever. <laughs> oh, but the fireworks that will spark from our partnership will be ever so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Point taken. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. <laughs> That's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. You're up against the Iron Bloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and enjoy your fill of battle. The scars left on your mirror were fortunately much more shallow than anyone had anticipated. Partly thanks to the fact that the number of assailants was relatively small, there were no fatalities. And the next morning, everyone worked together to clean up the damages and restore the village to its original form.
However, my father was heavily wounded, and he had been in a deep sleep ever since. And while we knew his injuries weren't life-threatening, he would still need to be under careful watch for some time. Meanwhile... You're set on leaving now, aren't you? I am. I realize that with Dad unconscious, I should probably stay and protect Ymir in his place. Maybe you could even say that I've got a duty to do so as his son. But I've got something else that I need to do. And to me, that takes priority. If that's your decision, Reen, then I've no intention of stopping you. Like I said, when you and Elise first left here to attend Thor's and Saint Astraea, it's a mother's duty to watch over her children and wish them well as they fly the nest. Mom, thanks. <laughs> I'll be sure to watch over your father and this village in your absence. Do all that you can to bring Princess Alfin and Elise back safely. Will do. Toval, Selene, please, take care of him. You can count on me. On my honor as a member of the Bracer Guild, I'll do everything in my power to see your request through. I'd tag along even if he said no. It's about time we went and looked for Emma. Thanks, you two. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Mom. We'll see you soon. Take care, and may the Goddess watch over you. Your mom's a strong woman, all right. She really is. And I'll have to do everything I can to bring Elise and Princess Alfin back safely so that I don't let her down. No, I will bring them back. <laughs> Guess we can skip the pep talk if you're that fired up, huh? Make sure to try and repay all that support she's given you the next time you swing by here. Speaking of next time, it's time to go. We're stopping by the valley before leaving, aren't we? Yeah, I want to see how Valimar's doing. Once we're ready, let's head out. Well, here we are. <sighs> Finally getting used to walking on this snow. The Divine Knight's exactly how you left him, too. Thankfully. It wouldn't have surprised me if Vita had tried messing with him, but he looks just fine. Speaking of, do you have any idea what she might be after? She knows Valimar is here, but as far as I can tell, she's not interested in stealing or destroying him. For now, anyway. It's kind of weird when you think about it. He's probably one of the biggest threats to the Noble Alliance. I've got no idea what goes on in that head of hers. But I'd say that there's a good chance her and the Noble Alliance's goals aren't as perfectly aligned as you might think. And if that's true, whatever she's doing is probably for the benefit of Ouroboros. Hmm. You said the Anguis are the top brass in the society, right, Toval? If she's that high up, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. Uh, well, whatever she wants. Can't see it being good news for us. They've been trouble all over the continent in the past. I dread to think what they've got in store here in Erebonia. But, well, at least we've got time to stop them. Things could have ended a lot worse yesterday if not for Valimar's help. I can't even imagine the ways Ymir would have suffered if we didn't stop that magic knight. I'll need to thank him when he wakes up. That will not be necessary. Whoa! Valimar? I suppose one night was enough for you to recover a little bit of your mana. Not enough to freely move around, though, I'm guessing. Correct. Further rest will be required in order to return to full capacity. Okay. Get as much rest as you need. We'll call on you if anything else happens, okay? Acknowledged. Wow, easy enough to communicate with him, huh? Then again, I think that one Gordius class robot could technically talk too. Is something wrong? Oh, no, just thinking. I sense a change has occurred in your group since I last entered a state of inactivity. Confirming the absence of the waveform of one number. Assuming that some form of irregularity has occurred. 
Wait, is he talking about Elise? Maybe. He appears to be aware of what's going on around him to an extent. Valimar, we're gonna be leaving this region for a while. My sister and the princess have been taken away, and we're going to rescue them. Plus, I need to find and reunite with my classmates, too. How much of that do you think Balmar has any clue? Like, does he know who his sister is because he just called him called her a wavelength? And does he know what the princess is or what a princess is even or who the princess is? And the classmates? He might know something about the classmates. Although, does he understand what a classmate is and who? The, I don't know. It's just weird that he's like casually talking to him like a friend and I'm sitting here going like, how much does Valimar really understand the context of the word? The context of the word is what I'm talking about. Not the, not the actual, like, you know, this. Like, I'm sure Valimar understands the idea of somebody is in danger, I need to rescue them, and I need to find people. But does he understand the context of who these things are that we're talking about? That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I'm just being weird. So take this chance to recover as long as you need, okay? Classmates, I assume that this word refers to those who have aided you in overcoming the trial to become an awakener. Boom, bam, look at me. I was right on the money. Yeah, is that a big deal or something? Valimar? Confirming waveform locations. Excluding the awakener of Azure, the remainder of here be located in three different regions. All the vital signs are normal. Hold up a sec. Does that mean you know where all of them are? I see now. Do you remember when you overcame the trial to become Valimar's Awakener? Well, obviously, you weren't alone when you did that. You were with the rest of Class 7. And it sounds like, thanks to them being there with you, they've all been recognized as secondary contractors at the same time. Oh! So that's how. That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Please, Valimar, tell me where they all are. Detecting approximate locations using geographical database. Three are to the southeast in the Celtic region. Three are to the northeast in the Nord region. Three are to the south-southeast in the Lagrand region. This includes a list of locations of all nine secondary contractors. All vital signs appear normal. Yep, that's all of them. That confirms my theory. They're all okay. They're really okay. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Though I sure wasn't expecting us to get confirmation of their safety quite like this. <sighs> Look at you crying away. And you call yourself a man. Hey, I am still a man. Gosh darn it. Real men. Real men cry sometimes too. Quiet, you. Gosh knows I cry sometimes playing these games. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't pretend you aren't breathing a sigh of relief right along with us. This means Emma's safe too, you know. <sighs> oh, I for one am definitely breathing a sigh of relief. Still, all three locations are a ways away from Ymir. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Noble Alliance has got control of key locations all over the country on top of it all. On the plus side, they're all on the eastern side of the Empire, but getting to them ain't exactly gonna be a walk in Modder Park. Oh hey, wait! Valimar, can't you use the spirit path? Affirmative. Doing so would consume all of my current mom, however. Spirit path? What's that? It's the name given to a really old means of travel. Using it will allow us to travel instantly to even distant locations. That is way too convenient. Seriously? How? You know how there are still remnants of animism all across Erebonia, right? Well, places like that are connected to one another by spirit veins. Septium veins, in other words. And Valimar has the ability to use those veins to travel. Yeah, that's kind of going over my head, but basically you're saying it's like an invisible road that connects places like Lagram to here or wherever else? 
Exactly. The spirit path can only be used between areas where animism had a hold, though. The other drawback is that taking it will use up what little mana valimar has been able to recover. Which means that until he's recovered enough to travel again, we won't be able to come back here. I see. Personally, I can't think of any better options. I think we should give it a try. What do you think? It sounds worth a shot to me. Now all that's left is to pick which place we should head to first. Right. Can I vote for Legram? Because I guarantee that's where Laura's gotta be. Keldic, the Nord Highlands, or Legram? I think Keldic is the closest to here. Maybe we should try heading there first? Keldic, huh? I'm down. Should make a good test run for this whole spirit path deal. All decided? Come with me, then. Boo. Right. The monument would have ties to animism. Hmm. This seems like a good enough spot. Are you both ready? Ready. Anytime. Velimar, open the spirit path. Our destination is Keldic. I'll lend you all the support I can, too. Acknowledged. Whoa, hey, the ground's glowing. What's this? All right, here we go. single one of them. I'll bring us all back together, no matter what it takes. Did we make it? Oh, hey, I know this place. Is Lunaria Nature Park? Ah, so that's where we are. I knew this place looked kind of familiar. We must be in the deepest part of the forest, too. If I recall correctly, the nature park's about northwest of Keldic, right? Or Keldic, right? Sounds right to me, but it's been a while since I was last here. We weren't sent here for our very we were sent here for our very first field study. I had forgotten how many stone monuments there were here. They are vestiges of old animism. Anyway, nice to see we made it here safely enough. It's a nice hiding spot for Valimar, too. I doubt anyone will find him here. Valimar? Getting us here must have used up his remaining mana. My guess is it'll be two or three more days before he wakes up again. In other words, we're stuck here. As far as I'm aware, this region's under the complete control of the Alliance, too. We're gonna need to stay alert. I'm just thinking maybe that's something we should have considered before we came here for two or three days with no way out. Maybe could have brought that up when we were picking locations. Just a thought. 
Yeah, well, no time like the present, as they say. We should start looking for any kinds of clues related to my classmates. Got it. Let's make our way out of the park, then. Okay, so before I get jumping in here, I'd like to take a second to talk about what I do and don't like about the spirit path thing. What I don't like basically comes down to it's almost like too convenient. But that point is almost moot because of what I do like about it. And what I do like about it is that because this game is a four part game and really I should really start referring to it <laughs> as two two part games because like this is part two of two right and then there's another set of two so because one in, games one and two are kind of like written together you can you can really tell they are even because like a lot of the stuff for the spirit path was actually set up in the first game like as we played through the first game there were a lot of scenes where they talked about animism and how it like there were remains of anim animism mm. and emma talked about some about how animism was like a thing for witches well, she didn't specify she was a witch, because that we find that out at the beginning of this game. But, like, she did talk about how, like, animism was, like, an existing thing still. And there was, like, supernatural powers to it. So, like, all of that stuff was set up in one, actually. So, because everything was set up so well in one, I don't mind so much that it's so convenient in two. Because, like, it doesn't feel like they wrote themselves into a corner and then went... Oh crap, now what are we going to do in two? Like, everything was set up in one. So I appreciate that so very much. That it makes the point of it's convenient almost non-existent. It's still there, but it's like non- It's not important anymore because it was already written in the way it is. And I, I appreciate it for what it is. So, good writing for everybody. Kind of like something I wanted to bring up. 